My baby! What have they done to my baby? Hey everyone, welcome to my video. Uh, thanks so much for clicking. I'm actually here to do something I've not done in a very long time. I've been reviewing a lot of Batman graphic novels and comics, but I've not done something not Batman related since like, like over a year. Uh, so I took a little break from Batman and I read Marvel's Alien Bloodlines. Now this is a trade paperback of the new Marvel Alien series. Uh, I think it was just six issues for now. Uh, I'm not too sure there's gonna be more coming. I hope so. Well, we'll get into that in a sec actually. First things first, what did I think about this book? It's fine. Actually, before I get into why I think it's fine, let me get a little rant out of the way. If you can't tell, behind me there's an Alien poster. Alien is my favorite film of all time. I literally think it's perfect. I have written an entire dissertation, 10,000 words just about that film and a few of the sequels. Um, I kind of know my shit around it, academically speaking, which is kind of a cocky thing to say, but I literally love Alien. I know Alien. I've seen it many, many times. I love Alien. I also like the sequel, Aliens. And there's a very big distinction between an Alien film and the Aliens film, and also with the media that's come from it. Uh, when I see something titled Alien, I expect a more slow burn, horror focused, uh, sci-fi, body horror, thriller thing. When I see something that's Aliens, like, you know, another comic book or video game, something that's Aliens with an S, I expect high octane, less horror, more action, um, I expect military stories, military allegories. Let me stop right here, actually. This is the content warning, some of the things I'm gonna mention. I'm not gonna talk about it at depth, but I'm gonna mention things about sexual assault and quite violent stuff. So if that does bother you, maybe you don't watch this video. I'm not gonna include any of it, but I will reference it because Alien at its core is a sexual assault story. So, you know, I expect more body horror in Alien, less of that in Aliens, um, which is why when I saw that Marvel was creating an Alien, no S, Alien series. I was very excited because I love Alien more than Aliens. Aliens is fun. I like Aliens a lot, a lot, a lot, but it's not Alien. Different. I'm a horror guy, not an action guy. But this is very much an Aliens book. I'm so sorry to tell you right now. Uh, it's a very little rant. I, don't, I think I'm probably talking about it for too much now, but it's an Alien story. And actually, it's not that dumb because you come into this book expecting certain things and instead you're getting characters from Aliens, like the Bishop, robot model is in this. It's a marine story, pretty mediocre one at that. Like the main character, that's one of the main problems I have with this series. I find the main character so dull. Oh, he's an estranged marine. Had a traumatic event while being out doing marine things in a planet with aliens. He's got an estranged son. <gasps> like, fuck off. Sorry, I know I'm being quite critical. I actually think it's an, it's, it's an all right book. The so it's six issues. I'd say the first half, the first three, I really did struggle with. Light on horror. Loads of aliens. Spoiler. So loads of Xenos, uh, which again, it's another quick thing. I love Alien. And I love uh, the game Alien Isolation. Like, you can have more than one alien, like in Alien Isolation. But like, the, the Xenomorph in Alien is very, you know, in, imposing. It's a very imposing creature. It's huge. It's big, it's terrifying, feels unstoppable, can't kill it, that kind of vibe. Meanwhile, it's an aliens, because there's so many of them, it's like hundreds and hundreds, it's a hive. Um, it's cool action, obviously, but like you can kill them quite easily. They're just duh, 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 gun away, blah, blah. And so it's the same here, like an alien, a xenomorph shows up and it's just killed immediately and no one really gives a shit. There's also no traces at all of the sexual, like, fucked upness biology of Alien. Like Alien is a really horrible story about the brutality of reproduction and biology and birth. And it, you know, it put for honestly one of the first times it put men at peril of sexual assault and rape. Whereas, you know, in horror at the time, it was all about the women at the risk of it. And this time it was the men, which is why it was quite traumatic, but people couldn't tell why. And it was this weird thing. Alien has always been very subliminal with the way it was conveying its horror and it's always more like in the subconscious mind like you know as a man you're watching and you're really uncomfortable and you can't really pinpoint why you feel so uncomfortable and it's actually because it's a creature is literally impregnating 
you and then it bursts out of you and rips you apart and it's horrifying. I could talk about Alien for hours and hours and hours, so I'm trying to, let's focus on the comic. Let's uh, let's move on to the art, because I feel like that was a bit unstructured. I'm so sorry. I just get really passionate about Alien. I love Alien. So the art um, by Salvador Laronca and Guru Effects. Um... Okay, the Xenos look incredible. Very detailed, very fun. Love the Xenomorphs. They look great. Face huggers as well. They, they look disgusting like they should. So that's really great. Not a fan of the humans. Again, uh, I think I meant, if you've not watched this already, I mentioned this in the Batman the Cult video, but there's something I personally, and this is just personal taste, because uh, it is clearly a very skilled artist. Like the drawings do look really good, but just personally, I don't love when characters look so hyper-realistic. Just there's something uncanny about it that I don't quite like in a comic book. I think it's different when it's in like a video game or something like that. But like in a comic book, it just, I, I just wish I had a little bit more of an art style to it. Like it just feels like it's being realistic, which is great. And it's very skilled and really like, and like I appreciate the the art and like, well, this, I appreciate the skill that it takes to create it. I just feel like artistically, it doesn't convey as much as I think it probably could. Um, but you know, the Xenomorphs do look great. The violence is fine. Uh, it's very bloody, not so much gory, which is, cool but you know when you're an a i'm gonna keep talking about it because it's just frustrating when you're an alien property i expect body horror say what you want about alien covenant but they got it that shit right like those that that oh my god the back burster the chest burst it was disgusting it was awful it really like makes you clench up and then be like fuck i couldn't think of anything worse than you know having an alien rip out of you whereas here it's like oh it's you know it pops out Obviously, it's a comic book, so it's not going to be as visceral in a movie, but, like, look at From Hell, which, by the way, I've also reviewed. From Hell was fucking awful to read, like, in terms of, like, the horror in it and the violence was really, like, visceral. So you can do it in a comic book. Um, they just didn't on this. The story's fine. Again, like I said, I don't really like the char lead character. I think it's kind of a boring choice to go with. It's just another marine. Again, lends itself more to an alien story than an alien story. But, um... It's fine. There is... The, volume 6, I'd say, is where it generally got pretty great. And it's good that it did, because now if there's another trade paperback for the next six volumes, if they do make them, um, I will read it, just because I like the threads that they pick up. Um, there's a link to not just the first two movies. Because for the first part, it looks like they're just following on from Aliens and ignoring the rest. But no, there's actually links to some of the other films that have come out recently specifically there's links to prometheus and alien covenant so i am curious to see where it goes i will be following it closely again whether or not it's good i'm it's alien so i'm gonna read it like i will play most alien games i will watch any alien movie um and i enjoy most of them like i think alien 3 is pretty bad but like i still see its merits alien resurrection is a wonderful mess absolutely chaotic but i enjoy it Prometheus and Alien Covenant are a bit frustrating because I actually think they're pretty great films, but then they have these like glaring issues that just kind of bring the whole experience down. Prometheus is more the stupidity of the characters, and then with Covenant, it's more the the promise of one thing, and then we get something else. But the again, but at least Alien Covenant got the gist of why I like Alien. Not saying that, you know, they have to make these things for me specifically, but I just feel like when you're attaching such a beloved and well-known brand to something, it's like, why not just stick with that? Like, take Alien into new directions, for sure. The problem is, Alien Bloodlines does not go into anything new. It just follows aliens. It's kind of a retread. It's another space station, another colony with a hive and loads of shit. There's a cool new creature in this that I've not seen before. Um... But it only pops up a couple times, and we don't really know what their gist is, so I'm assuming that's going to come later. They kind of give, it, it gives like Night King vibes from Game of Thrones, so we'll see where that goes. I am peaked. My curiosity is peaked. Actually, that is a great way to wrap up this review. Alien Bloodlines is a decent romp. It's very cheap trade paperback. It was only like 15 quid. Um, it's a quick read. You can read it in a couple hours. If you like Alien, well... If you like aliens, you might actually like it a lot more than I will. But um, it's a fun thing. If you want some sci-fi horror action, give it a chance. Who the fuck?
Anyways, uh, yeah. Alien Bill Lines. Let me know if you've read it. Um, it's Marvel's new take on... Well, what do they call it? Marvel's Comics presents the iconic cinematic terror making its Marvel debut. The com... You know, let me know what you think, because at the end of the day, this is Alien, the iconic cinematic terror making its Marvel debut, as it says on the back of the book. Uh, let me know what you think. Anyway, thanks so much for watching there, guys. Sorry, this is a bit of a downer one. I'm just a bit... I take Alien quite personally. Probably shouldn't, but, you know, people take other shit personally. Like, Alien is my Star Wars. Put it that way. Anyways, thanks so much. I uh, hope to see you next time, and have a good day. Bye! Hey!